The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office has released 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Ruth's mugshot. Ruth is expected to appear at the West Palm Beach Federal Courthouse for a bond hearing on Monday. And the week after that, he is expected to return to court for his arraignment. He's accused of trying to assassinate former President Donald Trump. Meanwhile, the House is poised to vote on a bill this week that would give presidential candidates the same protections from the Secret Service that are offered to sitting presidents. This bill was proposed in June after the first attempt on Trump's life. Republicans are now looking to fast track it since the second assassination attempt to offer Trump more protections. Joining us now to discuss Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek. Uh, Congresswoman, good to have you. I, I don't know if you saw, saw the picture there, Ruth, uh, the, the mugshot. I uh, don't know if you have seen it, but he. I got to tell you, it kind of looks like a smirk uh, on his face. And I don't know how you feel. You're down there. Well, you're not there right now. You're at the Capitol. But uh, being from Florida, uh, seeing this kind of thing happen in your home state, uh, what are your, what's your reaction? Well, I certainly uh, wouldn't be doing that if I were him, especially in the free state of Florida. Uh, we don't take too kindly to people putting a, a hit out on the former president's life. He is well loved in Florida. And so I know there's a few people that would love to wipe that smirk right off his face. I did see it briefly. And again, I think it just shows how mentally unbalanced and unhinged this individual was. Congresswoman, talk to us about um, this move to have more protection for uh, presidential candidates. Obviously, um, President Trump seems to have, among some people, a target on his back. I know there are a lot of folks who are concerned that there will be more attempts as we get closer to the election. Do you share those concerns? And um, tell us about any support or even lack thereof that you're seeing um, from folks across the aisle as you look to secure President Trump and anybody obviously running as a candidate uh, in America. You know, even though we are seeing such incredible division and gridlock in Washington, D.C., this seems to be one of those issues where we are able to come together as Americans, not Republicans or Democrats, and really agree that this is something that cannot stand. Political violence cannot stand in this, in this any form, shape, or fashion. And so we are seeing tremendous support, a groundswell of support for additional funding and resources to the Secret Service to provide equal protection to both the vice president as well as former president. President Trump. This is something that has to happen. How many attempts have to be taken on his life before, God forbid, somebody succeeds? This is something that cannot be tolerated. So I am confident that this will absolutely be fast tracked and passed unanimously in the House. The Senate's a different ballgame, but I think we should even go further than that. I think we should take and make CR funding contingent on, on, FBI, on the FBI cooperating with Florida authorities because we have seen the FBI. FBI has actively weaponized the federal government and the resources within their agency against President Trump. So there needs to be some guardrails put in place with the FBI as they have a major role to play in this investigation, just as they do in the Pennsylvania attempt. And there needs to be a message sent that we will not tolerate political violence, period, hard stop.